When you finish your animation and you're happy that it's good enough, you're ready to make a film. You're ready to render your animation as a movie that you could share on YouTube or with your friends or play on your mobile phone or home computer. So, first of all, check your animation is fine. This looks okay. And then secondly, we need to check that the camera is okay as well. It looks pretty good as it is right now, but is our camera in the right location? Well, we know we can press F12 to check the camera, but we can also press the zero button over on the numpad. And the numpad is the small set of keys on the right hand side of your keyboard that looks like a calculator. If I press zero on that, I get the picture from the camera. This is really useful because I can see exactly what the camera is going to record. If I want to get out of this view, I click again and I press zero and it gets me out of the view. So I'm happy with the shots, I'm happy with the animation, the camera seems fine, I'm ready to render it or turn it into an animation. So on the right hand side, make sure that you've got the camera tab selected and there are some options down here that we need to change. We need to change from HDTV uh, down into PAL 16.9. I recommend this. If you keep it very high, the image will be really good quality, but it'll take a very long time to calculate everything and to make your video. You may have heard of things such as HD television and uh, other things such as 4K. Blender can do things like that, but if you're running on a quite a slow machine, you need to be picking a much lower resolution, a much lower quality picture to make sure that it gets rendered in time. I'm going to pick PAL TV, which is the old television format in the United Kingdom. So, selecting that, we've got a much lower resolution and we've also got 25 frames per second. I'm actually going to drop this to 24, but it doesn't actually matter. Depends what you want to do there. Scrolling down, it tells me where I'm going to save this file. At the moment, it's trying to save it in the TMP folder. Depending on which computer you're using, for example, you may be working at school or in a library, you won't be able to save to that folder. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to select a folder that I can see and I can save to. So clicking on the folder icon, it allows me to go and select a folder to save this to. I'm going to save it to the desktop. And the desktop here is an area that I can access and I can save to. But double check that you can save to that if you're using a school system. Go to accept. So we have PAL, 24 frames a second, and we are saving to the desktop. Now, one last thing that you need to do. Make sure that you change from PNG to a video format. If you're doing this professionally, you would be saving lots and lots, hundreds if not thousands of individual images that you can then stick together. We're just going to output a video for the moment, which is going to be our H.264, which is a nice format. It should run on most video players. Let's select that. And now we're ready to go. There are other settings, but we don't need to worry about those at the moment. We scroll up to the top and we click animation. And when animation is clicked, what the computer is now doing is it is working out every single image that you need to stick together to make this movie. And as we know from the bottom, we have a hundred images in total. And you'll notice that the picture here, it's okay, but it's not very high resolution. If we zoom in, you can see the pixels. If you were to put something like HD or 4K renders, the resolution would be much better, but your computer would take a much longer time to calculate all this. So especially when you're trialing things out, try a lower resolution such as TV PAL just to check things. And that means you're going to be able to see your videos much quicker than you would otherwise. I'm running quite a fast computer here. A computer at school could be much slower. So it seems to have stopped, but where's the file? Well, we said we'd saved it in the desktop. So if I go to my desktop here, you can see there's the file. That's the file that's just been output. It's four seconds long, which is what we predicted. 24 frames a second, about 100 frames. That's about four seconds. And if I double click on it, I can play it. And that now is a video that you could upload to a website like YouTube or you could share with your friends. And that's how you render an animation in Blender.